Well, I thought I would record another video. This time I'm gonna change the track on Gracie, one of my old Grand Touring sleds. A couple weeks ago, I changed the voltage regulator on George, the other sled, but uh, Gra Gracie's track is getting really worn out and I think it's just time to fix it. So I have another track here. I'm going to try and replace it. So there's Gracie. Uh, George is over there, the blue one. There's my extra track. And I don't know if we can see here. You can see there, there's a hole and there's a large missing section of lugs, about a foot long. So time to replace it with this one, I've had this one for quite a few years sitting in my storage area. Uh, it's not doing any good up there, so not too many years left on this old sled. We've got uh, 20,000 kilometers on it. It's a 97. Um, but both of these two old sleds are just spares that I keep for people to ride on uh, as guests, just for fun. I'm not too worried about what happens to them. I've got lots of parts. So uh, let's get started. So I don't know exactly the right steps to do this. I've done it once a long time ago. I know I have to take the mufflers out, uh, the resonator. I need to get the uh, reverse uh, chain case uh, removed. I need to take the secondary clutch off. Probably unbolt the uh, chassis flip it on its side, and then hopefully get the track out of it. So we'll see what happens. Okay, exhaust is all disconnected. Muffler is out. So now I'm gonna start by removing the chain case cover. There is reverse on here, so I'm gonna have to make sure I keep track of where the gears and the chain all go so that I can put it back together properly. And I'm gonna have to drain all the chain case oil out first. Well, I've run into my first snag. I cannot get the chain case cover off because on the back of one of these bolts that holds it on, there's actually a nut. Uh, this chain case was leaking a long time ago and I took it in to have it fixed. And I think the mechanic has put a nut on the back side that I cannot get to. I can see it. I don't know if I can show this or not, but anyways, it's kind of back in there. And all of my 10 millimeter wrenches won't go through those holes. So I have ground the sides down, sacrificed a wrench so that I can get it through there. And I'll see if I can get a hold of the back side of that nut. Okay, that worked. I got that nut out. So now I just have to take off this bolt that holds the reverse gear in place, I believe. And then the cover should come off here. And I don't know how much oil is left in it, but it might drain to the bottom. It might drain to the bottom, but I've got a rag down there and I'll put a, a little tray underneath to catch any residual oil. Getting closer. Okay, I got the chain cover, chain case cover off. Right down there, doesn't look too bad. 
I'll check out that O-ring later. There's that bolt that had the nut on the back of it. Right there. Stripped in the case. I don't know if you could put, it, put a helicoil on that or not. Somewhere back here is going to be the nut. There it is. Where did you go? Well, I need two hands to get that out, but I'll get it out. The fun part will be trying to get that thing back on, but carry on with the disassembly. Slowly making progress. The gears are out of the chain case and it's ready to be unbolted. But before I do that, I need to undo the speedo down there. That cable there is the speedo. And I need to take that bracket off. But before I do that and loosen up that drive shaft, I need to unbolt all the bolts that are holding the skid in with the track there. So I'm going to lift the back end. I haven't disturbed anything up here yet, so I will loosen the bolts and get the skid out from under the chassis there. All right, status update. Three hours in, the skid is out. There it is there. I checked all the idler wheels. The bearings seem okay. There might be one that's a little bit suspect. I'll replace it. But they were all gone over last year. It was a little tricky getting that skid out from under. It's out, I jacked up the back end after I had unbolted everything. And that allowed me to get enough play to swing the skid out from under the chassis and away from the track. So now it's just sitting suspended with nothing under it. So now I'm gonna resume pulling out the Speedo, uh, the bearing cup um, and the uh, chain case Just to make it easier on myself putting this skid back in I put a clamp on it and compressed it and then I put vice grips on the torsion spring arms on both sides So that when I unclamp it it, it won't spring back up and it'll stay tighter should be much easier to get back into the new track once I go to put it back in. I also noticed the sliders are a bit thin, so I'm gonna replace those too, and then start putting it back in, but I still gotta get the track out. So 
So we got the bearing cup off, which holds the speedometer cable all down there. Under all that grease is the drive shaft. Too bad I just recently greased it. It's gonna be all gooey when it comes out. Drive shaft is now free. Chain case is off. It's sitting right there. So now I should be able to reach under and get that drive shaft out. Drive shaft is out. There's the track. Track actually has very few miles on it, but there's the bad section there. Starting from here, all these lugs are missing all the way down to here. Plus there's a hole right here. And all that happened because one of the torsion arms, uh, the bracket broke and the arm slid down, poked a hole in the track and delaminated a portion of it. And this was just after it had been replaced. So that was probably 10 years ago, but we don't put many kilometers on this sled. So it was not a big deal, but it was time to do it. So time to put the other one back in. New track is in place. Drive shaft is in place. Now reassembling. Status report, I was able to get that nut back on the chain case cover. You can see it way down there. It's kind of blurry. If I back out, there it is there. The only way to get at it is with that wrench that I had to grind down. Chain case is back on, reverse is working. Now to fill it up with oil and get the skid put back in.
Just a follow up on the track replacement. Greasy is all back together. Everything seems to be working fine. Forward and reverse, everything is hooked back up. Mufflers are in. Chain case is down there. New oil in it. Track and skid have been lubed and it's ready to be put away for the summer. So hopefully in the fall, it'll be problem free. We'll see.